Ba-da-da, pow! Hey, welcome to the show! Look, it's time for this. This is the uh, the last one. This is the last one before Christmas, at least. This is the Christmas Eve JP's product pick of the week. Thanks so much for stopping by. I'm sure so many of you are off with relatives and friends and loved ones and traveling and playing in the snow and doing all those great things. Uh, but for some of you, uh, I'm glad you were able to stop by and uh, hang out for just a little bit here with this product pick of the week. Uh, so we've got people over in our chat. Thank you for stopping by. Hi, over in the YouTube chat, Dave Odessa and UK Systems. Hi, Beata Graf Abdelhagen. Hello, Jeff Hunt. Hey, thanks for stopping in. Uh, also, if you're somewhere looking for the chat, oh, that's not it. I, I broke that thing. Let me fix that. Uh, what I'm about to try to fix this to show is our Discord, uh, which is right at adafru.it slash Discord. And you can look for the live broadcast chat channel. You can see it right there. Uh, and uh, there is the chat. We've got Janisku7, hello, or Janisku7, Rufus Tyeth, hey! Uh, hi, Thin Man, happy holidays to you too. Thanks for popping in. Janisku, uh, ready with the gifts, thank you. <laughs> I like that one. That's, that's good old me and Lars. Uh, so what, uh, what we got here today, we've got a product pick, and if you wanna go check it out, head to this URL or that QR code, this show takes place inside of the product page, as, as most of you know. Uh, so you can head there, you won't miss out the uh, show's broadcast from within there, and perhaps most importantly, there's a deep, deep, deep discount, 50% off on this product pick. We stashed a bunch of them, the, the new products team stashed a bunch of them, I should say, before the show, and then unleashed them onto you, the unsuspecting. Uh, customer, and you can get them at half off up to 10 per customer, no resellers allowed. Uh, so go check that out, go to that URL and uh, you'll see what it is, but if you like to follow custom, as I like to hear, before I say word one about this product pick, we'll have Lady Ada go back just a little bit in time and tell us all about it, so please take it away Lady Ada. Is the INA3221 uh, finally finished this board? I've been working on it on and off for a couple of years, but I finally decided to wrap it. Um, so this is kind of like an INA219 um, times three square. It's like a triple decker. So this allows, this is an I squared C sensor. So you control and read it over I squared C with your microcontroller or Raspberry Pi, Arduino or CircuitPython. And you can read up to three DC voltages up to 26 volts, and you can measure the voltage as well as the amount of current that is being drawn. So you use the terminal blocks on the end. So maybe you can select like mm -hmm. this one. Um, so there's terminal blocks, you see there's like plus and minus. So you can connect either to the high side or the low side. Most people want to do high side so the grounds are all shared. Um, you connect your three measurements to the plus terminal block, and then you connect the load to the negative. And then you can measure um, positive or negative 3.2 something amps of current, 1% um, precision, 13 bit accuracy. I'm sorry, 1% accuracy, 13 bit precision. Um, so it can do, you know, up to as little as like 0.5 milliamps or so, um, and up to 3.2 amps. And uh, you get like, you can set up warn and critical and valid interrupt. So it tells you like when your current draw is, is going over some predefined limit that you set in the I squared C driver. Um, basically it's just great if you, if you are measuring multiple voltages and currents, uh, you know, you're doing like photovoltaic projects or battery charging or, you know, motor control stuff and you want to do very fast power uh, measurements. Um, the INA3221 is great. One thing is, you know, it doesn't have a FIFO and it doesn't do like power summation. I think the INA228 does that. So this is a little bit of a simpler one. It's really a lot like the INA219. Um, very, very similar, but just three of them. So um, I'm using this for a project and I was using a project where I had to measure 12 volt, 5 volt, and 3 volt power supplies all at the same time. So I thought it would be handy to make a breakout board for this really good power supply and no soldering is required because you just use the terminal blocks stem qt for i squared c and you're ready to go
Yes, indeed, that's right. So this is the product pick of the week this week. It is the INA 3221 DC power monitoring breakout. This is a triple, I should say, this is the INA 3221 triple power monitor breakout with Stemma QT. This allows you to measure up to 26 volts DC, up to about 3.2 amps, and you can measure three different devices at once. It's a high side or low side, and you can get away with zero soldering, just use Stemma QT slash quick cables, or you can solder into the little pads at the bottom and get all, uh, all pins broken out. But very conveniently, you can use these little terminals, these little screw terminal blocks here to plug in. I'll show you a demo in a moment of how that works. Uh, but before I do, let's take a look at the product page. Uh, sorry, apologies, I think. Oh, no, okay, it's fine. My thumbnail made it look like that was going to be broken, but it wasn't broken, yay. Uh, so there it is. You can see it is a 50% uh, off during the show right now, just until uh, about a half hour from now, and then that's going to go back up to the full price. So instead of $10.95, you get it for $5.48 right now. So if you've got some power monitoring projects, maybe pick up uh, one or two and maybe some STEMI QT cables. Uh, this has a link here to the learn guide. So if you click on here, you can see a nice learn guide that Liz put together with some great close-up photos there. You can see we've got the breakouts for I2C on the STEMI QT on the sides. You've got the three different terminal blocks at the top. And then all of that is broken out down at the bottom there, uh, plus a couple of extras. And you can see a nice uh, shot of the backside there. It uh, has some further info on pinouts on the next page here. So this will show you the different power pins you can use to run it, uh, the logic pins for I2C, and then the input channels there for measuring uh, voltage on, or current really, on, on the three different blocks. Uh, you can also use an interrupt pin uh, if you want to do any kind of measurement of uh, thresholds and have an alarm of some kind go off or interrupt something. Uh, you can use those pins. Uh, there is also a I2C jumper on the bottom that lets you go either from the default address of 40 or you can uh, solder the jumper closed and use 41 so you can get away with a couple of these on the same bus uh, without any any uh, multiplexing of I2C necessary. And then if you take a look here at the uh, CircuitPython page or the Arduino page, you'll see we've got libraries for both of those. Uh, these are great to have. I recommend those. You'll see in my demo in a second. I've used a bunch of these to connect up my different supplies and, uh, and loads. So this will give you an idea of wiring here. Uh, if you take a look at this one, this will show we're using STEMI QT cable to connect up to a feather. Uh, and then we've got a power supply coming in, and that goes to the plus side on the first channel terminal block. Then we're sharing ground between uh, that and the load side, and then the load is connected over to uh, the negative side of that first channel. So you can do three of those, which uh, is what I've done in my demo. Take a look at that. And then we've got a really nice, simple setup here in CircuitPython. You just want to install this library right here, CircuitPython INA3221, uh, or Adafruit INA3221 if you're doing that on a microcontroller and not on Blinka. But you can use this on your uh, Raspberry Pi or other Blinka-capable machine using Python. Uh, similar setup for Arduino. And then we also have a downloads page where you can go and check out the data sheet on the chip. Uh, one thing that's come up a couple times, this is essentially a triple version of the INA219. So if you use that single board, this will be real familiar. The library looks pretty much the same. Uh, and let's, uh, in fact, take a look at that. Let me switch over here to uh, this view of the world. So let me grab my uh, sublime text here real quick. Let's see if I can get that running up, up and running again. Are you connected? Should be. Oh, I'm not printing anything, so that won't matter. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting it all on the display here. Uh, so let's talk about what I've got here. I have a feather, and then plugged into that is the INA3221 right there. And then you can see I have three sets of power supplies and loads running into those. So the first one here, I have power supply and a little uh, LED strip. 
Next, I'm running an old Arduino Uno off of uh, this one. And then last, I have a little fan over here to the side. And if you look at the, the screen there, you can see, oh, that's also my little uh, festive reindeer fingernail applique. Uh, you can see here, we've got a listing for each of those three channels of voltage and the current being used. So if you take a look at, uh, let's say, the fan over here, so that is running on uh, the first channel. This is channel one. These go right to left. Uh, you see here right now it's got a draw of about 0.112 milliamps. I'm going to go ahead and switch off the fan and you'll see that drop down uh, should get to zero. Uh, and then same with the others here. So if I turn off the supply going into this Arduino, you'll see the draw and the voltage are dropping on that back down to about zero. And then I can kick that back up uh, and you'll see now the voltage going up as well as the current draw. I'll turn my fan back on here. Uh, and then this one, uh, if I turn off the supply going into the light there, that's going to drop, 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 kick that back up. On slot three, you'll see the voltage and current going back up to about 0 0.6 milliamps. So not, not a ton of draw on that. Uh, so that's how you can uh, run this. The uh, library, if you look in my code window here, is imported, so INA3221. Uh, and then I'm setting up that to run on I square C as the INA is what I've named it. And then we have some display stuff just to give us this uh, TFT readout. And then in the main uh, loop here, I'm just checking the INA dot bus voltage for channel zero and the current amps for channel zero and then repeating that for channel one and for channel two. You can also check out shunt voltage if you want, but I wasn't uh, going to fit that on there, so I didn't, didn't uh, put that on. So that's how easy it is. You just ask for the name of the device and then channel zero, one, or two, and then print out or use however you want, bus voltage and current amps, and that will print those uh, to the screen in this case or to a serial window. You can plot them on a graph or use them however you want. Uh, so Let's see, that, uh, that's pretty much how easy it is to use. And uh, let me know if you have any questions about that in the chat. Uh, the, go a, a full view of that if you wanna see that right there. Uh, one question in the chat, I actually don't know the answer to this. Uh, maybe someone does, Rufus says, it looks like it's actually got twice the resolution of the INA. 219, so 0.4 milliamp versus 0.8 milliamp. Um, I won't check that now, but if you check that data sheet, uh, and probably Rufus already has, uh, that should let you know the resolution that you have to work with, uh, which may be useful depending on, on your needs, if that's true, and, uh, and you have to get really fine grain performance from, uh, from your power monitoring. Uh, all right, so before I go, again, I'll remind you, head to that URL right there, 6062, and you can pick these up for half price just today, just for the next 10 minutes or so, uh, and then the price will go back up. All right, let's see. Uh, looks like Tyeth is responding in the chat. Maybe he checked out uh, the data sheet. Who knows? Let's find out. Dot, dot, dot. The dot, dot, dot is killing me. Uh, and also get ready to, to finish this up. Uh, okay, so yeah, type, that's right. You can, sh you can alter the shunt resistor and change the max current and re resolution as a result. So yeah, it's, it's probably more depending on which uh, uh, shunt resistor Lamore used in these. And there's some instructions actually in the learn guide, I believe, about uh, how to adjust. So if you go back to, I think here, uh, and pin out, or maybe she just mentioned it, uh, and I was tuning out. Yeah, I think she mentioned it in the, uh, uh, the video there, but yeah, you can, you can change out, uh, a resistor to adjust the granularity there for your, uh, for your current sensing. All right. Uh, I think that is going to do it for us. So, that right there is my product pick of the week this week. It is the INA3221 triple current sensing power monitor with STEMIQT 
And uh, that is going to do it for the product picks of the week for the year. So thank you all so much for stopping by. Excuse me. I uh, hope you have a really fun holidays. If you're taking some time off or if you're uh, celebrating, let, uh, let's, have a, let's have a good time. Uh, thanks, everyone. And I will see you next time. For Adafruit Industries, I'm John Park. This has been JP's Product Pick of the Week. Bye-bye.